Hello students. Now we will be doing Kingdom Animalia. The fifth Kingdom Animalia. All the animals are included in that. But Animalia can be divided into two. That is Chordates and Non-Chordates. Non-Chordates are the lesser form animals. Chordates are the one which has got the backbone. Non-chordates do not have any backbone. They are small animals. They are flattened. They are very small. More developed are chordates. So let us see which are the animals which are included in non-chordates. Now it starts with porifera. Porim is full of pores. The body has got pores throughout the body. The classic example is sponge. The water enters, it stays inside the water. The water enters through the pores, it carries the nutrient, whatever required for the animal it carries and a, a, a wave is formed inside the body. Spongocele, there is a cavity, the water flows through the cavity and through the mouth and gives all the substance which is required by the organism. So they are attached to substratum. This something at the base they are attached. They are not moving but still they are animal. Why? Because the cells which are present in them are animal cells. Therefore they are known as animal. So sponge is attached to substratum. It does not move. It is just there somewhere attached to the substratum and mostly they are found in the sea. Even in the freshwater rivers there are very few most of them they are found in the sea so they are fixed to some object porous there is a body cavity which is known as spongocele there are pores present throughout and the water will flow in a direction in a wave and it will take in whatever is required by this wave of water so this is porifera spawn full of pores. Porim is full of pores. So this are first non-chordates in animal, in animalia, kingdom animalia. Then next is nidaria, also known as cylindrata. Nidaria. Now what is the character of this nidaria? There are tentacles which are present which helps in offense and defense. They capture the food and if they have to protect, they can protect themselves with the help of tentacles. Now, the examples here, hydra, sea anemone, jellyfish. Now, this tentacles are present at the mouth and there is a cavity which is gastrocele. The food enters through the mouth, digestion takes place and the waste is thrown through that same cavity, mouth cavity. So hydra is very small, it can be seen with naked eyes but if you see under dissecting microscope you will be able to see it clearly. Sea anemone is big animal, if you touch the tentacles it will take in the tentacles inside. So here this is the structure of sea anemone, tentacles, which helps for offense and defense, protect them. Now here jellyfish. Jellyfish is, a, 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 is an animal which lives in the uh, sea and it is bell shaped. But still what is the main character here? Tentacles are present. They have only one mouth cavity and there is a gastrovascular cavity which is present. So they are almost uh, same in structure only that this is bell shape and this is here call it it is erect in shape. So here what is the unique character? Tentacles. Sac like body with one opening, finger like projection and it is radially symmetrical. That means you take any plane, you can divide the animal in exactly two. Like we are bilaterally symmetrical. We can be divided into two in only one plane. But for them, they in any plane they can be divided into two. So they are known as radially symmetrical. 
Now next is platyhelminthesis. Platyhelminthesis means dorsoventrally flattened organism. They are parasites and they suck the nutrition from the host. Examples here tapeworm. It looks like a tail. It has got small head. It uh, has got suckers, hooks by which it gets attached to the intestinal wall and starts sucking the nutrition and starts growing. It sometimes grows into 6 meters. This is all reproductive structures. So when a person eats uh, this, the way, uh, I mean the larvae goes inside the person, it will be there in the muscles. It will, uh, then this larva will break, it will get attached to the intestine and start sucking the nutrition. So this is how the tapeworm moves on. Now liver fluke, it uh, gets attached to the liver. It gets attached to the liver, starts sucking the nutrition. So these are all parasites. Most of them are very minute, some are larger in structure. So why they are known as platyhelminthes? Because dorsoventrally they are flattened. They are just flat structure. So thin, flattened parasites, example tapeworm and liver fluke. Now nematodes are also uh, uh, parasites, they, but they are not flattened. They are worm-like body. Ascaris also stays in the intestine, starts sucking the nutrition and there is a lining which surrounds it, does not dissolve it in the intestine and it, this infection is caused in children who eat with dirty hand. The larvae enters and it grows into a big organism. Now this is the female of Ascaris and this is male. Female is elongated, there is a lateral line also present and the male has got the curved end. Round, it's rounded and unsegmented parasites. There is no segment which are present. So these are nematodes or nematelminthesis. So here the example here is Ascaris, they are also parasites. Now next is Annelida. Annelida. Now Annelida, they uh, have segmentation. As the evolution takes place, this organism, they develop segmentation. You can say that from this segment to segment, mouth is present here, the digestive system starts, the intestine is present. You can see according to the segment, the organs are present. So here segmentations are present, example is earthworm and leech, they both have segments, leech is a parasite, it gets attached to the animal skin and starts sucking the blood, so it feeds on the blood. Earthworm is known as the friend of farmer because it just digs into the soil, loosens the soil and releases organic substance, the waste which is produced adds to the fertility of the soil. So here Annelida, the character which is present is segmentation. Segments are present in Annelida. Rings. Leech breaks through the skin. Now Nephridia is a structure, is a small organ which helps in excretion in the case of uh, uh, earthworm. In earthworm, there is nephridia which is present, which, uh, which gives out the rays. Respiration is carried out by the moistened skin of the earthworm. So, these are the basic animals which are included. Porifera, spawn, cylindrica, or nidaria, it is the hydra and sea anemone, platyhelminthes, tapeworm, and liver fluke. Nematodes or nematelmesis as carries in Annelida is earthworm and leech. Now in the kingdom Animalia, you have already done Porifera, Nidaria, Platyhelminthesis, Nematodes, Annelida.
Now next you have to do Arthropoda Mollusca Echinodermata in the non cordates So let's see what are the characters of Arthropoda. All the insects which you see around they are Arthropoda. Now if you kill a mosquito and see its leg, it is not one continuous leg, it is small, small, small unit. Why? Because it is jointed, jointed legs. It has got jointed legs. The main character of Arthropoda, it has got jointed legs. The legs are not straight, they are made up of small, small unit. So whichever animal you see jointed legs, they are in Arthropoda. Now, the body, if you see, it is divided into head, thorax and abdomen. Three parts. Head, thorax and abdomen. Abdomen is the uh, stomach region. Above that is the thorax. Above that is the head. So, it is divided into three parts. Now, here you will be studying in this phylum, Arthropoda, you will be studying different classes. In Arthropoda, you will be studying different classes. So, which are the classes which are uh, present? Crustacei, Myriapoda, Insecta, Arachnida. I know it is, but uh, you have to memorize this name. But try to understand the characters. Now, here the Arthropoda, it has got jointed legs, head, thorax, abdomen and the body is mainly covered with the shiny substance, proteinaceous substance, hard substance which is known as chitin. Like how hard our nails are due to the hard protein, same way they have hard protein which is known as chitin. So, here... If you have seen prawn, 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 here the head and thorax, they are fused. You cannot differentiate between the head and thorax, they are fused. Rest the abdomen, you can see it is a little bit curved. You can see abdomen, but head and thorax, you cannot differentiate because they are fused. Fuse means they have become one. So here in crustacea you will see that the head and thorax it has fused and rest of the structures are abdo uh, rest of the structure is abdomen. Now here prawn they have jointed legs. They help in swimming. They are modified to swim in water. The jointed legs, but the legs are jointed and modified for swimming. So here you can see the examples of prawn, crab, shrimp, lobsters. These are the animals which are included in the class. Now studying this classification, so slowly you will understand how the classification takes place. This is not the end. You will learn more of classification. So here class crustacea, it has got these animals, prawn, crab, shrimp, lobsters. Here they have jointed legs, they have a heart covering and they have their head and thorax. The upper part is fused, rest is abdomen. So this is the character of crustacea. Class crustacea. They are included in phylum Arthropoda. Now further, this is another class Myriapoda. Myriad means many. Poda means leg. Now very uh, by name itself you can understand that these animals are going to have many legs. You must have seen millipedes, centipedes sometimes their body is segmented and each segment will have one pair or two pairs of legs which helps them to move very quickly. So this is the main character segment and many legs of Myriapoda. Class Myriapoda which is included in the phylum Arthropoda. Now next is Insecta. Insects you see all around. So here they have three pairs of legs. Insecta they have three pairs of legs. The body has got wings. It has got antennae, head, thorax, abdomen. And in Insecta they have a special mouth. Like mosquito is going to bite you. It is going to put its proboscis, suck the blood. 
सेम वे बटरफ्लाई विल हैव स्पॉन्जी माउ दे विल सक दी न्यूट्रिशन फ्रॉम दी द सीरप फ्रॉम दी फ्लावर कॉक्रोचेस दे विल जस्ट स्क्रैच बाइटिंग टाइप ऑफ माउथ दे हैव सो देयर माउथ पार्ट्स आर मॉडिफाइड दे हैव एंटेने विच हैज गॉट फीलर्स दे कैन फील थ्रू दी एंटेने सो एंटेने इज प्रेजेंट हेड थोरेक्स एबडोमन दे हैव थ्री पेयर्स ऑफ लेग्स एंड दे हैव विंग्स दैट इज द कैरेक्टर ऑफ द क्लास इंसेक्टा विच इज इंक्लूडेड इन दी फाइलम अर्थोपोडा Now next is the uh, examples of insecta, ants, butterfly, housefly. They are all included in insecta. Next is next class is arachnida. Arachnida. This is a class included in the phylum Arthropoda. Arachnida. Your four pairs of legs are present. It is. It has got only head and abdomen and four pairs of Uh, legs are present in arachnida arachnida examples your spider tick scorpion all these are examples of arachnida so this is arthropoda with jointed leg body head thorax abdomen there is a hard covering chitin which covers the body and it is divided into the uh, different classes crustacea myriapoda insecta arachnida so this is about arthropoda now we go to the next phylum mollusca what is the main uh, character of mollusca it has got soft body body is very soft and it is mostly uh, marine some in fresh water but they are always in water molluscans are always in water they have very soft body and most of them have shells very few are without shells but most of them are shells you go on a beach or in river there are many shell animal even the pearl which you get you get from the oysters which are uh, there in the shells you have to break open the shell and take out the uh, pearl now how pearl is formed this irritation enters the animal it starts secreting calcium carbonate and leads to the formation of pearl so that is how the shell animals they produce shell uh, i mean the pearl so they have shells oyster has got shell snail has got shell but octopus does not have shell it is soft animal it has uh, suckers in its leg which helps it to protect themselves so only octopus does not have shell but rest of the animals they have shell they have hard covering made up of calcium carbonate which protects the soft animal and they have a muscular foot which helps them to move they have muscular foot which helps them to move sometimes or other you must have seen snail moving on the wet land so this is how this is the character of mollusca they have soft body they have hard shell and they have muscular foot now next to mollusca is echinodermata echinodermata <clears throat> now this animal has got spine on it spine on its skin so if you see a starfish you will see it is rough rough sandy sort of now there are small spines which comes out on the skin and if you see the other side of the starfish there are a uh, space in between and you find two feet which are protruding out now what is the function of two feet to maintain the balance of water and the circulation of water in the body so here they have two feet the other example here is sea urchin sea urchin here looks like an ash tray and it has got spine throughout the body again it has got two feet inside which helps to maintain the balance of water inside the animal they are found in sea this animals echinodermata they are found only in sea 
So starfish, the classic example, then sea urchin is another example of echinodermata. Dermata is skin and this is spine. Spine present on its skin, echinodermata. Now, the characters which are present in this phylum is spine present, they are marine. Now, water is in river, that is fresh water. It does not have any salt, but marine is in the sea. They have salt, 35 parts per million. There is salt which is present. So, these animals are modified or adopt, they are adapted to stay in the sea. So, that's the adaptation of the echinodermata. So, they are all marine. Marine means sea, salt water. Now, they are radially symmetrical, means they can be cut into uh, two parts uh, from any plane. This side, this side, this side, this side. We can, be we can be cut into two in one plane only, but they can be cut into two in many planes, so they are radially symmetrical. They have two feet, they are the structures uh, which are protruding through the lateral line. They help in maintaining the balance in the uh, maintaining balance of water in the body. Now, in the kingdom Animalia, we have reached the phylum Chordata. Phylum Chordata. Chordates, vertebrates. That is, they have a vertebral column behind to give support to the body. So, these are chordates. We have done non-chordates. Now, these are chordates. Chordates, phylum, chordata, vertebrates. Now, in this phylum, the class, different classes are present. Species, Retilia, Mammalia. These are the different classes which are present. So, here, let us do... Let us start from fishes, that is the fishes are included in fishes. Now these fishes, they have to swim in water. So their body is streamlined. You take any fish, it is not going to have square shape. It is going to be streamlined because it has to swim in water. The body is covered with scales so that water does not enter. They are all aquatic animals. They have different fins. Fins are for the movement. They will have dorsal fins, ventral fins, uh, tail uh, fins. All these fins are present so that they can swim in water. So here they are aquatic, streamlined body. Fins are present, scales cover their body and gills are present. They cannot respire like how we do through the lungs. They have special organ known as gills where the water comes and gives the oxygen and takes away the carbon dioxide. So gills are present for respiration. So these are the characters of the species, uh, the class species. And the examples are Katla, Rahu, they are freshwater, Mahashir is the cold water fish, electric ray is the marine fish, you, if you touch the uh, electric ray you get a shock, so the name is, hence the name is given, dog fish are all sharks, sharks are dog fish. Now next to the species, fishes, the Amphibians. Now, amphibians both. They can live on land as well as water. The frogs will live in water, lay the egg in water. Their uh, uh, eggs have jelly-like coating. They are in water and when they grow, they come on land. They can respire. They can uh, carry out the respiration with the help of skin in water and on land they respire through lungs. So here yeah, they, they, uh, they stay on land and water and females both, land, water both, they can stay, lays mm -hmm. egg in water. It is slimy and slippery. Why? Because the skin has to carry out respiration. So it is slimy and, slimy and slippery. 
lungs it breathes through lungs as well as skin so this is the adaptation of amphibians amphibians both land and water then in then comes the reptilia then comes the reptilia reptilia they are mainly st uh, stay they mainly stay on land they have come out of the water but still few animals they are in water turtle tortoise crocodiles they stay in water they come on land but they stay in water some animals like lizards snake they are completely stay on the land so they have adaptation accordingly the skin is dry the scales are present but they are very small dry scales so skin is dry and scaly they have lungs to carry out respiration so lungs are present their eggs are soft they are not hard they are soft they have four legs four short legs and they mostly live on land except turtle crocodile tortoise they are living in water as well as land so these are the animals which are included in reptilia these are the characters of reptilia next comes the apes apes are the birds again their body is streamline because they have to fly they have feathers on uh, their them because they have to fly their bones are hollow because they have to fly they have adaptation to fly they have so uh, hard horny beak to pick up the worms they have legs which are scaly so they can hop on land so this is the adaptation of if they have horny beak streamlined body body covered with feathers they have wings they have bones which are hollow and they have scales and their toes and they have claws also to take hold of the uh, step branches when they are flying they want to sit on the branches they have claws to hold on to so these are the characters of the birds you you see many birds around a uh, sparrow parrot many birds they have to fly but some birds which do not fly but still they are birds they are ostrich penguin kiwi these are the birds which do not fly they remain on the land but still they are included in this class apes class a which is included in the phylum chordata then comes the mammalia mammals are all the animals which you see around cat dog humans they are all mammals so here the characters which are present here is body is covered with hair and they have external ear this pinna is there uh, which which takes the sound so external ears are present in the mammals they give ear birth to young ones directly so all these characters and they feed the young ones with the mammary glands present in the females so these are the characters of the mammals the Uh, in the class the organism organism present in the class mammalia which is included in chordates so here the birds lay the egg the young ones they come out of the egg but mammalian they give birth to young ones directly so this is the evolution of the character from apes to mammalia so all the animals which you see around they are mammals humans are also here yeah, uh, mammals cat dog cow buffalo they are all mammals bye bye